Hello YouTube, Cod Hunter Niner here. A little video about uh, some places for a little wild camp, stealth camp, call it what you will. It's been a while since I've been on. One or two things going on. Again, you know, I don't want to dive at the moment, but all will become clearer in the future. Now this is a wood, you know? Maybe it's four miles away from my home. It's beautiful as you can see from the ancient wood. My father used to camp here as a child, so I had a bit wander around with the dog. I've come up come up with a few little spots. I just like to ask a bit of advice, a bit of help. From all you that are in the know. I'm unsure as to whether camping on the top of a bank side, i.e. there's a big bank side there, is going to be colder than camping sort of on the flat. Now there's a river down there so obviously I know it's going to be cold next to the river. Mm -hmm. Not that I'm a softy or nothing like that. But that annoys me as well, I'll pick that up on the way back. Uh, as I said, I'm not that, that I'm suffering, but I just don't, don't do well in the cold. I prefer to be warm. Whilst I'm on about being warm, if anybody anywhere has got a, a Snug Pack 5 Elite or even a 4 Elite that they want rid of, DM me and I'll uh, sort something out. So, you know, sort the price out, whatever. Also, whilst I'm on, on asking for a spare kit and surplus kit that people might want to sell, I'm after a tarp, a DD tarp, a biggish one, and possibly a hammock as well. Now, if anybody knows of anyone who's got any spare that they want rid of or where you can get them at a reasonable price, again, let me know and uh, I'm sure we can sort something out. I'll just whistle for the dog. Burst some of your drums, no doubt. Looks like a pigeon's had its chips here off a fox. Foxes in wildlife. The dog put a, a couple of woodcocks up, and there's any amount of pheasants around here, so. Quite a lot of wood in this one way. I'm going to get some serious training with this spaniel. He's, uh, he's gone a little bit wild because I've not been shooting for quite a while and uh, yeah, it's, it's shown. Right, one of the spots I was looking at was just ahead of you there. I don't you can see that. Camera work is shocking. I'm using an iPhone and not my camera. So, bear with me. This is again, look, somebody. This is the, the spot I was thinking of. It's quite flat in that spot, but somebody's obviously been here in the past and not cleared up after them. Again, I always carry a bin bag and I'll pick that up. Good practice for anyone, I think. Just to a mess up, I know it's not mine, but hey ho. So that's one spot I was looking at because I've got a little two man van go out and uh, quite easily fit into that gap. It's quite secluded around here. And then the other spot I was looking at, it's not secluded, I couldn't find it. <laughs> Back here, it's, it's, it's a little out, but it's going to need. Quite a lot of pruning, I think, inside, but it's, it's ideal, it's a natural shelter. So, you know, it's from the elements and from crying eyes, etc. etc. More of a stealth camp, I think, here because I would have to come obviously an hour or so, try at dusk, set up camp. And then obviously leave early doors. 
as is the norm I think with a lot of the stealth camp, wild camp uh, pretty well. Again, as I've said in previous videos, I'm just learning so please point out any sort of inaccuracies and anything I can do better anything anyone can see. That's a better idea, etc etc. Right. And this is the little the little area I thought would be ideal as you can see it's a natural little tunnel going into there and around there. There's a couple of trees, quite flat, but as you can probably see it's surrounded by lush vegetation. But this is the problem I had when I was talking about the bank side. Literally the bank side slopes away quite a steep gradient along there. So I don't know if that's a bad thing or a good thing. Again, let me know. It's got a good canopy above at the moment. So there we have it. Again, the tarp and hammock probably would fit quite nicely in here off Millie's that tree. never done it before so I'm looking at a bit of help and advice from the lads who do use the tarps and the hammocks regular as I say if anybody has any surplus camo tarps or the DD hammock I'm not a huge fella about 5'11 6 foot 14 stone so you know, I don't need the XL one as I know John Northeast bus crafter. He prefers the big one, but he is a big fella. Um, but I think he says that they're more comfortable the bigger ones. So I don't know. I don't know. Again, any advice, help, gratefully received and listened to. Right then. Well, this is the area that I'm looking to camp in. There's a bigger woodland along here where I think would be ideal but it seems to be very very boggy you know and that it has a sign that must be 60 70 year old see in private woodland so without permission I, I wouldn't I wouldn't come in there where I know this isn't owned by anyone it's no man's land if you like and so I thought well, I picked up this is no man's land so you know I've no doubt it does belong to somebody somewhere but I've asked around in the farms and what have you no one seems to know so there we have it so thank you very much for watching again I'm intermittent with my videos so there's quite a lot going on for me at the moment not particularly good but here yeah, hope we'll get through it and the lads and lasses on YouTube are helping us through it so I thank you very much for watching hopefully I'll be all sorted soon and I'll get some pictures of my face up so I'm not the, the faceless man or the man with no name as Paul the Mus well, the man with no face even Take care everyone, bye for now.